Hi YouTube, uh, a couple of weeks ago I sort of upgraded my home studio I put in a patch bay, put in some uh, external hardware and I um, wired it all up to my XR18 So along the top here I have my live lines from the studio coming in the top here I've got my aux sends from the XR18 1 to 6 uh, and I've got my hardware connected to these sockets at the end uh, these are half normal so they go straight into straight from the live lines from the studio straight into the XR18 <clears throat> and uh, these are also half normal these are on through because you never want to connect the outputs to the inputs uh, I watched uh, Greg Ondo's video on how to set up external external effects in uh, in Cubase and that was great that got me started but um, it didn't show me how to set up the XR, XR18 so I'll run through the whole thing right from the beginning and hopefully it might help you I'm not saying it's the, absolutely the right way to do it but it's a way that works for me if, you, if you've got a better way of doing it or another way of doing it feel free to leave a comment uh, below so let's jump into Cubase and we'll get things set up here what we have to do is get obviously get the signal out of Cubase into the analog world and back into Cubase having been through the uh, processing so if we go into Studio, you can either press S4 or click on Studio up here. Click on Audio Connections. And if you go to External Effects, um, you can click Add External Effect. And you can give it a name. I'm going to use the ART Pro VLA, so I'll just go like that. And we're going to set this up as a stereo because it's a it's a stereo processor, stereo compressor, so a stereo send, stereo return. So I'll click OK and it appears in our list of devices. And if you click the arrow here, there's a send bus and a return bus, turn bus created. So we need to tell Cubase where to send the signal and where to get it back from. Uh, if you click on here, you can select your ESO driver and I'll pick the first two available first two available outputs and we'll do the same here now it's going to send it back on the same as it sent it out on I'm not too keen on that so I'm going to change that to 5 and change that to 6 and that is all we have to do in Cubase so I can shut that down and I've got this little drum loop going here so if I click on here I can add uh, we're going to the Plugins, I'm going to external plugins. We can see that the Pro VLA is now here, so click on that, and you can see immediately that that uh, shuts off the sound because it's now getting sent to this plugin which we haven't actually got connected physically yet. So we need to do that. But first of all, we need to go into the XR Edit software and sort out a few things in there. So, so let's have a look at the XR software. Bring that down for you to see. <clears throat> so, channel three and four are going to be our sends from Cubase. So, if we're going to there, we need to set them on USB. Three and four, set them both on USB. And you can see now that we're getting signal into Cubase. Now, we need to send that to one of our physical outputs. So if we, we're going to use bus 3 and 4, which I've got connected to my patch bay here. So we'll <coughs> send that signal, send, we'll send channel 3 to bus 3, set that to 0. And we'll send channel 4 to bus 4. Okay, and if I bring these faders up now, you should be able to hear the... Okay, so now we've got our stuff getting sent to Cubase, and we need to, and we're getting it sent to the physical outputs, so we need to connect the physical outputs to the 
compressor. So we'll take our signal from aux 3 and we'll send that into and pull the LA in down here and we'll send aux 4 to and you can see now on the Pro VLA that we're getting signal in here, which is good. And now we need to bring that back into Cubase, or back into the XR18. So we'll, another couple, another couple of patch leads. These are the output, these are the outputs on the top. So we'll take them there. And we said we're all going to plug them into five and six. So plug them into five. And six. And you can hear now that we're getting signal back again from <clears throat> from from the uh, from the Pro Valley. So we can just adjust the gain a bit. Okay, that looks that looks pretty good. So now we're getting a uh, signal from Cubase into the Pro VLA and back into the back into Cubase. So that's all I think that's all we need to do in um, in the XR edit. So we'll just stop this for a second. We have this uh, button here which measure delay which is going to send a pulse to through the circuit and back and measure the time difference so if I click that uh, yeah so you can see that it's, it sends a center pulse and it's measured delay 1.21 milliseconds that means now that anything that if we if we render this now it'll um it'll make make the timing right so there'll be no delay it, it compensates for the delay automatically Okay, so now we can cl click uh, edit, click render in place, and I'll do a real time uh, render. Sorry, I've got a whole lot of separate, uh, separate audio clips on this um, on this file. Anyway, as you can see, we're getting uh, audio back into Cubase, and it's uh, putting it down here. Okay, we're just getting to the end of this uh, render now. Yeah, good. So now we've now got audio from the... the that was a Harley and Sonic uh, drum loop that I had going there, and it's now converted that to audio by sending it through the, the RT. I haven't got any... Uh, it's not actually doing any compression at the moment because I haven't got the threshold or anything set, but that, tell, that shows you how you can do that. Um, now, if you wanted to monitor what you're... just Back, if we go back into the air edit for a second and you want it to, when you've got this playing through the external plugin, you don't want these faders up, otherwise you'll get, um, you'll hear the signal more than once. So you just want it, you want all these faders down and that way you're only hearing what's coming back through the USB into your door. Okay, hope this helps. Uh, if you've got any questions or if you, if you like it, please give it a like. Um, don't bother subscribing because I don't do a lot of videos, but uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helped you. Thanks again. Bye.